Hey YouTube and welcome back to tutorial number 32 and this is the second part of the radio buttons tutorial so in the previous video I actually left off with you guys uh, with these two variables and I explained to you that if our radio button of yes was checked then that would mean that this variable was equal to true and if our radio button of yes was not checked like it's not checked now that means that this variable would equal to false and the same thing for this variable over here so let's take a look at this in our browser quickly and as you can see neither one of my radio buttons is checked at the moment because I actually just ran it from Firefox or in Firefox right now and I haven't clicked there yet okay so both of these radio buttons are false but I don't want my user to be able to click submit and run this program right now if they haven't selected anything I want to tell them hey you need to select an option so let's go ahead and make an if statement based on what we now know okay so we know that if neither one of them is checked they're obviously both gonna be equal to false so let's make an if statement over here and we'll say if uh, this variable over here yes checked is equal to false okay maybe let's just space this out so it looks a little bit more tidy and if this variable over here no checked is also false okay so if both of these variables are false then what do we want to happen well then I think we can go ahead and just alert something out on the screen so let's go and alert out please select an option and I guess it doesn't really matter about my punctuation right now so it's fine okay and what we also want to do is just return false so that we don't go through to the submitted page and we'll make another statement here so we'll use an else statement otherwise if neither of them is false so if okay so this will only happen if n none of them are checked but if one of them is checked so one of them will be equal to true either yes will be true or no will be true I don't know which one but one of them is going to be true then we can go ahead and just return true and we'll go ahead and let them submit the data because they actually have checked the box we just don't know which one yet okay so let's go ahead and uh, save this and then I can go ahead and run this in Firefox again click refresh here okay if I don't click on any of these things if I don't select it and I click submit then you can see we've got this alert box that appears here and it says please select an option so we won't let our user go through to the next page if they haven't selected anything so when I click OK we don't, we don't go anywhere we still stay right here okay now if I select an option so let's say I select no and then I click submit now I've gone through to the next page and it says thank you for submitting your data and when I check up here in the URL I have my auto renew set to no so I know the user has checked no because I sent through the value no in the URL okay so that's actually all I have for you in this video and I hope you guys will have fun playing around with radio buttons and checking the certain values and in the next video I'm going to speak to you guys about check boxes which are very similar to radio buttons and then we'll move on from there. So thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you guys next time.